Using variables in Hyperpad is very easy. There are two behaviors that you can use to store variables, values and box containers. Both of these behaviors can store anything that can be accessed later. The difference between the two is that box containers can reference multiple inputs, whereas values can only hold one input. Let's start with the value behavior. Let's say you're adding two values together and you want to store the result to be used later. This is how it will be done. When you start touching something, it will add the two numbers together and then it will store the sum into this value behavior. Remember that you can plug anything into this input field for this behavior. The value behavior only stores the result when it is executed. So if this behavior was disabled and we try to trigger the add values behavior again, it won't update the value. Now, to retrieve the output of a value, you can simply drag its output to an input field like any other behavior. Okay, so what if you wanted to change its value to something else on the fly? In the value behavior, you can tap on this green button on the left of the input field. It will let you create a new set input field behavior. Whatever you put in this behavior will replace the value. And this restart behavior toggle should be turned on if you want to execute the behavior. In this case, we want this to be enabled since we want the value to be updated. If you can recall, the behavior will only update its value when it is executed. So yeah, this set input field behavior can update variables on the fly. So say if a started touching behavior was connected to it, this behavior will replace the value with 7 every time this object is touched. And yes, you can put an output in this field. And you can duplicate this behavior so you can reuse it for other cases. Oh, and this is not exclusive to the value behavior. You can do this in almost every other behavior in Hyperpad. So if you wanted to change the player movement speed on the fly, you could do that too. Cool! Now that we've discussed how values work, how do we use box containers? When you open it, it looks different. You can specify the default value, which is the initial value that the container starts with. You can plug in outputs from other behaviors and the box container will actually store the result of the latest behavior that was executed. For example, if all of these behaviors outputs are in the box container, triggering any of them will update the value of the box container and you don't even need to use the set input field behavior. But you can if you want to. If you try to retrieve the output of the box container before any of the behaviors are executed, the default value is returned. And just like the value behavior, you can grab the output of a box container to plug into another input field. Now you know how to store and retrieve variables in Hyperpad using these two behaviors. Very cool!